it's not the, all of our business, but it obviously it's significantly larger percentage than it is for any of the other companies. Uh, Mark is a very, very important for us. Uh, we love Mark, it's cool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but also, we have a number of important things which we did first on the Mark. And uh, today, we will be uh, showing uh, one of the uh, new things we are doing, which is a direct assignment, which uh, allows to assign uh, high end graphic cards or high end networking adapters directly to the virtual machine and get native uh, 3D performance uh, for uh, graphic cards and, and uh, native 3D capabilities, which is even more important. So you can take a single Mac Pro, for example, uh, and divide it into three uh, uh, partitions, so to say. Each of them may run high end uh, visualization workload for content creation industry uh, in parallel on different operating systems sure. without performance. Wow. That's something which we're announcing today. Okay, that's cool. Uh, are you announcing this evening? Yeah, yeah, we, that's what we are showing off of this. All right. We are not really releasing any product yet. That's a new technology which we're just showing. Uh, will be in different ways used in a number of our products uh, over the next, uh, over next uh, months. And that will be available in? Parallels as an upgrade? Or well, is it, will be, it will be a number of new products. I mean, okay. it will be also available in parallels sure. uh, for certain specific, um, in certain specific way. Let's put it this way. Okay. Has there been anything announced at WWDC by Apple that's going to benefit or affect parallels? Well, a number of things. I mean, there is nothing, uh, it's, uh, there's nothing really kind of revolutionary which means. It's a very, very solid WWDC with a lot of solid, um, important announcements which help all of the Mac community. Uh, you know, new hardware, cheaper, better hardware, better power management, new Snow Leopard, again, number of enhancements, 64-bit, uh, OpenCL, uh, and, and many other enhancements. Um, you know, new things on iPhone, which will make iPhone more popular, and iPhone drive uh, Mac sales quite a lot, uh, so number of uh, announcements, I'm actually quite impressed, it's probably uh, the best uh, WWDC I've seen, uh, with exception of the one that they announced like okay. Okay. That, that was the best ever, <laughs> uh, this one is uh, one of the better ones. Cool. You know, if you look at the direction where we're going, one of them is we're trying to be more appealing to grow the set of consumers. We've released Family Pack uh, in, in, in the last months. We also uh, announced Student Pack, and we're generally trying to broaden the number of people who can use virtualization in Mac and broaden the number of people who can use Mac mm -hmm. with virtualization. And in addition to that, we're also uh, looking into the ways how, uh, <coughs> how virtualization can help Mac users to be more efficient as Mac, such as you know, that example. What do you find that your your typical Mac user uses virtualization for? Are they mostly developers? Are they uh, switchers who still need to run Windows programs? Today, yeah. uh, there is uh, really uh, primarily two categories. It's either powerful users on the Mac who need certain uh, Windows applications, business applications. Usually it's some kind of uh, applications from the office or it is uh, basic application like Outlook. And in addition to that switches, so today. But um, as time goes by, we see more and more developers. And we also see more and more uh, professional users who just use virtualization on desktop in order to make desktops more efficient. So that, that that's coming in. But majority of the unit volume is towards uh, switchers and towards people who need access to certain application okay. like Outlook or like ERP application of some sort. Do you find a good segment of users running virtualization at a server level uh, to, to run web applications? Well, I have to tell you that uh, uh, we have released uh, Puddle Server for Mac last year, uh, and it was uh, based on our new Fastline architecture, but it was the first product based on that architecture. And so uh, we are actually having a significant number of uh, user requests uh, from our growing sales of Parallel Server for Mac, and uh, we will uh, deliver a new version later this year, 
which will have all these requests in it and the, the latest architecture. And it is getting traction. I think, uh, you know, iPhone uh, pulls uh, uh, a lot of Macs sales and Mac sales uh, pull, pulls a lot of Mac server sales and um, Apple has good server hardware and Mac OS is actually a good server operating system uh, especially uh, actually it's a pretty good operating system for SMBs because it's very very simple yeah. you know one, one thing which happens to Microsoft quite a lot definitely to Linux I and mean, Linux is definitely targeted towards large enterprise today but uh, what happens with Microsoft on the server side they also uh, kind of uh, bend between Services like large enterprise and large data centers and service and SMBs. And so, Mac OS is pretty good for SMBs that can be used. Okay. Especially with parallel server for Mac. We see more and more switchers. You see, when Apple first came back, so to say, uh, it came back mostly in the markets where Apple was already popular, such as US, such as UK, such as France, such as Japan. And in those markets, um, people who started buying Apple is people who already know about Apple. So they're switchers, even in case they're switchers, but they're kind of a switchers which always wanted the Mac or knew about the Mac, heard about the Mac. Uh, what you see today with iPhone, Apple is starting to penetrate markets where it has minuscule market share. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like China, where the market share of Apple, I don't know if it's 0.5%. Uh, and, and so you have real switchers, people who has never even ever seen OS, cannot really imagine how it works. And those people need a lot of assistance in my team. Have good traction with America. Apple continues to deliver good products, make them cheaper. That's another thing which is good about this uh, event. Definitely. And uh, so that, that uh, makes Apple used by a broad set of users, which is great for us.